Let's get started. So good morning, everyone. My name is Daniel Budiansky. I'm a principal technology consultant and enterprise technologist with EMC's Backup and Recovery Solutions Division. Um, and I'm going to be co-presenting today with Mike Zola, who's also from the same division. He's going to raise his hand right there. All right, and we're going to be talking to you about uh, how backup with deduplication can accelerate your journey to 100% virtualization. Okay. Obviously, everyone here is here because uh, they're using VMware or virtualization in their environment to some extent. And uh, you know, there's a number of uh, reasons why organizations really like uh, the value that VMware brings. So obviously, cost efficiency, right? Saving money, it all comes down to the dollars. The ability to uh, have much greater servitization, lowering your power consumption, lowering your capital expenses, and lowering your operating expenses. At the same time, uh, the flexibility of a virtualized environment allows you to improve your quality of surface because you can now be dynamic and flexible in how you uh, deploy and manage your IT uh, services. And you can also do things like minimize downtime and risk because of the flexibility of abstracting your applications and uh, operating systems from the underlying hardware. Uh, you know, you can manage the complexity associated with things like providing high availability and business continuity. And then, of course, uh, for us at EMC, uh, enabling the private cloud, the ability to be very agile as a business, is a huge driver uh, that we see uh, behind organizations moving towards 100% virtualization. So you can ask yourself, when you look at this curve, you know, every one of you uh, is in an organization that's somewhere along this journey towards virtualization. So on the left side, we have organizations um, that are really focused on the cost efficiency within their IT production environment. You know, virtualizing things like Active Directory, as an example, or basic file services or file and print services. Uh, places where it's just a easy win, low-hanging fruit, and really kind of minimal risk to the business if something doesn't quite work. Also, organizations that are using VMware within their dev and test environments, reporting environments and such. This is a great kind of early first phase that many organizations have. And then as you move through over time, organizations kind of move towards you know, business production apps, uh, and this is really to allow them once again to address that quality of service where they can you know, maybe add things like more robust uh, deployments of things like, say, Exchange or you know, some other you know, maybe clustered file service within your environment that allow you to um, you know, improve the level of service over you know, direct attack storage and farms of servers to something you know, much better uh, to meet your daily users' needs. And then as you move towards that 100% virtualization, this is where uh, organizations are really capitalizing on that notion of IT as a service, where you can deploy the applications that you need wherever you need them very flexibly and easily and not be tied to the underlying infrastructure um, you know, when you do that. And this is where you see organizations really capitalizing on that vision of a private cloud. And as you think about where you are in that curve, it's also useful to kind of think of a similar uh, association that as you move from left to right here, there's increasing data protection needs. And a lot of times that's a surprise to organizations. They think that there's all these great benefits to virtualization, but they don't necessarily look at what are some of the challenges. And what, what I've seen myself personally over the last five years as both a user of VMware and as someone who's um, worked with customers to solve their data protection challenges uh, using deduplication is that this really catches a lot of organizations off guard. But it really makes sense, right? So you have a, as you move across this, uh, this scale of virtualization, uh, you're increasing the number of virtual machines in your environment. You know, just like there was physical server sprawl, a lot of organizations deal with virtual machine sprawl. It's so easy to deploy a VM that now everyone wants to do it. Um, similarly, as you move across this curve, you're, you know, you're really driving uh, the need to achieve improved SLAs and provide better business continuity. As these applications become more and more critical to your business and you're going to your business owners and saying, oh, we're now going to virtualize Exchange or we're going to now virtualize uh, SQL or we're going to virtualize these critical uh, applications that run our business and make our money, you need to be able to you know, let the business owners know that they're, you know, that they're safe in doing that. Um, and then, of course, at the same time, everyone is once again trying to lower the cost of data protection. You know, when you're keeping many copies of these virtual machines in both image form as well as uh, you know, doing potential file level protection for, or application level protection, you often need a lot more storage than you would if you were just protecting the apps inside of a physical environment. 
So you know, think about the relationship between those two. Uh, what's also interesting along this timeline is that you move from left to right. Uh, there's a similar parallel in terms of the type of infrastructure that you're likely using today to protect that environment. You know, organizations that are on the left and just getting started with virtualization are probably very reliant on tape-based infrastructure or legacy infrastructures for providing data protection. And as you move across, you know, in order to really capitalize on this virtualization, you need to be able to leverage next generation data protection technologies in order to maximize the benefit of uh, the virtualization in your environment. And let's take an example of how really not thinking about data protection can actually cause uh, you know, organizations to essentially hit a wall uh, when, they, when they are going through this process. So you know, if we take a typical customer that's look, looking to move past that initial first phase of virtualization and actually you know, put some app, you know, business production applications into their virtualized environment, if they haven't thought about you know, the data protection challenges and needs associated with that, when they get to this phase two and then look to move beyond that and virtualize everything, they're going to hit a wall because essentially they haven't thought about how do they architect data protection for a virtualized environment. They're relying on the processes and technologies that have gotten them you know, to that point, even pre-virtualization. And now they're kind of stuck waiting to, you know, while they're, you know, with the virtualization initiative, waiting to figure out, well, how are we going to protect all of these VMs? Right? How are we going to store all the, the backups? How are we going to replicate the data for disaster recovery? And so you know, this is essentially the, the place that you know, EMC, with our products, Data Domain Avamar, have been addressing customers' needs for the last you know, four or five years. But what we're really trying to communicate here is the value of being proactive in your approach. And all of you are sitting here, hopefully because you're at this point where you're looking, how do I think about architecting data protection, architecting my backup processes, architecting my disaster recovery for a virtualized environment from the beginning before you ever get started? Because you have a, a golden opportunity here to build that data protection architecture, leverage these technologies that have now been proven in the market for the last you know, four or five years um, in order to deploy a virtualized environment that has this problem, has this challenge solved before you even get started. The benefit being that it makes your organization much more likely to be successful in achieving the fully realized vision of IT as a service, the private cloud, and full virtualization. So, right, so the challenges around backup, around contention, and maintaining consistency uh, can then be, uh, you know, they present opportunities to use complementary technologies like deduplication with virtualization to really optimize the consolidation that you achieve from, uh, from virtualization. And it goes without saying that even here in 2010, the combination of consolidation and uh, backup and recovery represent the largest two initiatives for virtualization within uh, you know, all companies. Right? So even here, 2010, we've been talking about this stuff for years now. It still remains the most important topic. And obviously, all of you are here for that reason. So what are some things that you know, make for a good VMware backup solution? So um, it has to have the ability to resolve the resource contention, support the various methodologies that you're using within your data, excuse me, within your virtualized environment to protect the virtual machines, guest and image level backup uh, both. And is similarly, the ability to provide uh, both file and full virtual machine recovery, because that flexibility is one of the great things about VMware. You have an encapsulated file. You know, it's a VM. Uh, you can do a lot of things with that, but you need a data protection uh, solution that's designed to leverage that, that benefit. Um, a lot of you still are supporting physical environments. You know, you're not all that at 100%, I, I assume. And so you need to have data protection solutions that obviously still work within those environments. Um, reducing your downtime cost and risk, obviously, are a big benefit of VMware. You need your data protection solutions to be uh, synergistic with that. Uh, and then you want solutions that are tightly integrated with VMware infrastructure. So, you know, with vSphere 4, you have the vStorage API. Obviously, there's vCenter uh, in that infrastructure and the VM Site Recovery Manager for DR automation. And what we like to say is that deduplication is the key because deduplication addresses some of these challenges that we're just talking about very directly by relieving resource contention, 
helping you to manage VM growth, particularly by providing very efficient storage, not just for backup, data protection, disaster recovery, but for things like provisioning. You know, a lot of people leverage something like the data domain storage system as a repository for all the templates within your virtual machine environment, because you can do that very efficiently and very easily on that system. Um, containing backup storage growth. I just mentioned you know, everyone's dealing with this challenge regardless of whether they're virtualized or not. And within the virtualized environment, it tends to accelerate because of the way that virtual machines propagate because you're working with these very large monolithic files that you want to grab as a whole object. Um, you often need a lot more uh, storage for that. Deduplication addresses that specifically by eliminating all the redundancy at the storage level. And of course, enabling effective disaster recovery. Uh, this is a key, the ability to replicate uh, virtual machine images, for instance, from one site to the other using a minimal amount of bandwidth because only deduplicated data is traversing the wire is a critical component to leveraging these technologies to help you move past the old paradigm of putting a tape on a truck and shipping it somewhere, which in a virtualized environment really doesn't, it really reveals how little sense that makes. You're doing all this cool stuff with VMware, you're going to go put it on it, you're going to put a virtual machine on a tape and ship it somewhere. You're really missing out. So in general, our products, the backup and recovery uh, solution uh, systems uh, with deduplication allow you to retain your data longer by reducing the physical storage uh, footprint associated with keeping many versions of those virtual machines and all of your data online for easy recovery. Allows you, as I mentioned, to replicate smarter by only moving deduplicated data across the WAN. It allows you to recover reliably because all of the, you know, both these systems contain uh, continuous fault detection, self-healing capabilities to ensure data recoverability. And this is really cool. This is just a, a quick overview of the fact that you know, organizations are doing this. So many of you in this room might, in fact, be doing this. Uh, just raise your hand if you're doing some sort of deduplication in your environment today. So yeah, see a good number of you. When I started four years ago, people were like, dedupl I, I joined Data Domain a little over four years ago uh, in New York City. And I, every meeting I went to, people were like, dedupl what? You know, people didn't have any understanding of, of, of what this was. And, and now, as you can see from here, uh, in 2010, 80% uh, of the, of the Fortune 1000 uh, businesses that were surveyed uh, are either using deduplication now, which is the left side, um, or have it in their near or long-term plan, or actively in evaluation. So you can see this wave of adoption. This is mature technology now. It's no longer um, something that needs to be proven, particularly when you look at the EMC portfolio with the Avamar and data domain products. Really best of read, OK? Um, you know, if you, you know, the thing about that study is that that bar represented EMC's uh, presence within that space, within the Fortune 1000 space. Uh, we are far beyond any of, you know, any of our competitors who try to claim otherwise are uh, frankly lying. Um, so with the data domain deduplication storage systems and the Avamar deduplication backup software systems, you have the ability to really choose and deploy the best of breed uh, deduplication technologies to help you retain, replicate, and recover. So let's talk a little bit, I'm going to talk a little bit about the data domain solution and how it can really help organizations that are particularly on the left side of that curve where they're transitioning away from tape-based infrastructures to a disk-based solution with deduplication, with WAN-efficient replication. You know, so I'm going to talk a little bit about that and then I'm going to switch over to Mike uh, and give him the opportunity to go really in depth with the Avamar solution. So, uh, EMC data domain uh, deduplication storage systems integrate really easily into existing environments by, support, you know, by being supported as a target for all of these backup applications and many more. So we can do it over standard interfaces like SIS and NFS over gig and 10 gigabit ethernet. Uh, we have the DD Boost uh, protocol, which allows for very tight integration with products like EMC Networker and uh, Semantic Net Backup and Backup Exec. And then we also have the ability to emulate tape via fiber channel, all in the same box, deduplicating all the data across that. All that data is deduplicated in line before it ever hits the disk, minimizing the amount of uh, physical disk required to store that data. And then all of that data can be replicated efficiently off-site for disaster recovery. Um, we have thousands of customers, tens of thousands of these systems deployed around the world. Um, it's simple, mature, and flexible. Uh, we have the ability uh, to replicate this data for very fast DR. And, uh, you know, if you want to hear more about that, obviously you can come visit in our booth. Um, but most of you are probably familiar with it by now. But let's look about, you know, how do organizations actually use data domain within their virtualized environments? So once again, uh, you know, we're really talking organizations here that, um, you know, are just 
likely starting on their journey to virtualization and or supporting a large environment that includes a lot of physical servers. So one great thing about the data domain system as you know, being a target for the backup software is that it can support both processes. So um, you know, there, for many organizations that only have a small number of VMs, uh, this might make sense to have agents installed in those VMs that require it and allow you to provide protection of the applications within virtual machines exactly as you would for your physical machines. You can do it all simultaneously, side by side, um, and it allows you to leverage the consolidative effect of storing all that data on the same data domain system. So it'll deduplicate globally regardless of the data is coming from a virtual machine or physical machine. And then so really this is about integrating into your existing uh, infrastructure and processes with changing very little. But of course there's better ways to do VMware backup in particular. And so as the backup applications have come out with support for vSphere 4, uh, and in particular the vStore API features like change block tracking, um, you know, it's become a lot more interesting. Any of you are familiar with uh, pre prior to vSphere 4 with the VCB infrastructure where you had a proxy server uh, that could mount the VMDK snapshots and essentially you know, do a backup through the backup application? Know that there was some challenges associated with that, how you scale those proxy servers. There was a need to stage that data on the proxy server first. With the API integration, that staging step goes away and now these backup applications are able to directly mount those VMDK files and provide either file or image level recovery from a single backup process. And it's all happening directly to the data domain system where it deduplicates the data, stores it efficiently, and replicates efficiently. So this is really what we see um, large enterprises uh, and large data centers that have you know, significant amounts of VMware using the data domain system for. This is kind of integration that we think is most interesting and that most of our customers think is most interesting. Just a little bit about, I don't know if any of you have, uh, were here last year, but uh, we had this customer speaking. Um, Pitt Ohio Express is an example of an organization that was facing these challenges of a highly virtualized environment, uh, relying on tape as their existing uh, data protection infrastructure, uh, and wanting to move towards uh, a backup and recovery solution that was fast and efficient. So they had a, a approach of best of breed technology within their IT organization, and so they really found that, you know, by deploying the data domain systems, they were to leverage all of the benefits of the solution that I just mentioned in order to ease implementation administration, um, allow them to flexibly meet the storage purposes. I mentioned the ability to store all their templates, for instance, or archive old, ver every time they could make a change to a virtual machine, they could archive a copy of it onto a data domain and, and consume very little space. They could deploy virtual machines using the data domain system by dropping it on there and letting it replicate across to another site. Um, they're storing more than nine months of their backups online now uh, on a single system inside of their data center. Um, so it really simplified the protection of VMs for them. Uh-oh. Okay. So, but let me go ahead and just introduce what we see, however, as, as our transformational technology. So. Uh, yeah, if you think of data domain as a transitional technology for moving away from tape-based infrastructure, you can really think of EMC Avamar deduplication backup software as transformational because it was designed from the beginning uh, to be disk-based, uh, to minimize the amount of data that needs to move around uh, and to efficiently store it um, and to shorten things like backup windows. And it's really tightly integrated, as you're going to see in Mike's presentation here, with VMware. So, um, you know... As you're going through this next part of the presentation uh, where Mike's presenting, really want to think about, really want you to think about how you can leverage the transformational nature of EMC Avamar uh, in order to uh, really build a data protection solution that uh, allows you to achieve this uh, goal of 100% virtualization. Mike? Need a ladder to get up on the stage. A little short guy over here. Oh, it is working. That's not good. All right, so when, when we look at Avamar, right, and we start to understand what Avamar is and what it's doing, it's deduplicating things before it sends anything across the network, right? So if we look in a VMware environment, where's your typical bottleneck, right? You're consolidating, you're doing things correctly. The bottleneck first brings its head up when we start trying to send things out across the network. That's the only thing I can actually do in VMware, right? I can, I can back up across the WAN. 
or the LAN. Well, the problem is, is as I continue to send data across here, it, with traditional backup, I'm using more and more data. Okay? The difference here is I'm actually reducing it before I send anything, and over time, I'm now sending nothing. Okay, so, yeah, Mike, that's deduplication. We know that, right? I mean, everybody knows what deduplication is. Why is Avamar one of the best backup solutions for VMware? Okay, everybody.